Yeah. 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 Well, he's run more sub tens than anybody else. Is it over 100 yet? Yeah. Is he close to it? Very close to it, I know. Justin Gatlin, of course, not able to hang on to Usain Bolt in Rio. So he had one or two injury problems last year, which held him back. 35 years of age now, the American. Now, Akani Sabine from South Africa. What a start to his year. He's run three sub-10 clockings already in South Africa this season. So really, really interesting to see how he goes. Just breeze in the face is going to help the local man, the Femi Oganodi, former Nigerian runner for Qatar. And here's the young Canadian, Andre de Grasse. So the men's 100 metres. Oh, Gatlin as ever gets out pretty quickly, Sabine going well, Oganodi right up there as well, Degrasse struggling to stay up, up with these two, but Gatlin's going to be beaten here, Sabine coming away, the top four man, and Gassafa Powell takes second, well we were looking for sub 10, didn't quite get it there, but we'll just wait for that to be confirmed as a time, it's now come up as 9.99 in front of me, and indeed been confirmed, and that's into a headwind. Well, I said how well he's been going. What a season this young man's had. Three, that's his fourth sub-10 second clocking of 2017. A real powerhouse of a start from Gatlin. You expected him to go away with this, but not so. And uh, Sabini really put the pressure on the South African. Olympic Games finalist, of course, fifth in 994 in the Olympic Games. He's been in the big championships before, but he's believing now, isn't he? 9.99, the winning time for Sabine Powell coming through just outside that for second. Oganodi hanging on for third, getting a bit cramped at the end there. But Gatlin and Degrasse, the two big names of this race, disappointing. 